So, today, working on tweeters. I got one already set up in there. Hopefully that's a good angle. I'm gonna put number two right there. And uh, let's get to work. Step one. Gotta get these wires on there, right? So, or so maybe step one is go to Home Depot, get you some wire splice connectors is what they were called. That's a couple bucks. If you don't have wire cutters, now, well, let's not block the whole camera, Aaron. If you have wire cutters, hey, you can pick these up for four bucks, or sorry, uh, wire strippers, you can pick these up for about, you know, four bucks or so at Home Depot or any other, you know, place that you go to for your tools. We're going to need some wire nuts. There's a couple bucks there for those as well. And I already got one on. I got to do, you know, make sure it's, it's snug and connected. It depends on where you're going to have to put your your tweeters but I recommend doing this first so this you put into the hole and you splice it down now unfortunately I only have two or you crimp it down I only have two hands so I'll show you how it works how it looks all you do is all you do is put the wire in there and then crimp it down I use these if you have other things that are gonna work better depends on what tools you have go ahead and use what you got crimp it down it can take a little work and sometimes you gotta strip back a little bit more wire if you need to, but make sure that they're not going anywhere. See, don't pull too hard because you can probably get it loose if you pull hard enough, but give yourself that space. Right now I'm just gonna put some tape here so I can make sure I can find the best place before I permanently secure it. And I'm working backwards on this one, going from the speaker to the main unit since I already know that the other one works. Let's see what's next. Next comes the wires. So after you've run your wire, make sure you have plenty of extra. And this is a wire I use actually from a low voltage light that I had. But you can use a whole bunch of wire here. I have a speaker wire, pick it up from Amazon or whatever. But it looks like a mess. All you gotta do is get the diagram for your unit. You know what it is? Look at the model number on the front. Look, mine says it right there so it's a pioneer yada 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 just google that and google that and then manual whatever yours is and you'll find it in this case my gray are gonna be my front right speaker that's my that's where my tweeter's going i'm just tying the tweeter into the main and since it's so low wattage and whatever i don't think it's going to be an issue we'll find out but so far it has not been in the week that i've had the left one on so i know Know which one's negative, which one's positive. Your wire will, you know, it, they'll show you, be able to mark the difference between this one. Look, see this has the white on it. This one does not. As well as then on this wire that I'm using, it has, I can find it here. Where is it? It has letters on one you can't see. You can't see because it's too, uh, maybe you can, maybe you can. Look, it has letters on one side, no letters on the other one. So what I'm doing is the letters is going to be the positive, and the other one's going to be the negative. So the plane's negative. But you'll be able to test that out when you install yours. Next, you should tie these, cut them, or split them, strip them, or cut them, strip them, and put them, connect them there. And let's see if it works. And the last thing to do, test it out. Go through, and uh, you can't tell probably just because, uh, but they're... There's stuff coming out. So, that's how you do it. Just add some tweeters to any of your cars, whether it's this truck like mine, and I really need to, uh, I need some sound down here, because I got a speaker down there, got speakers back behind the chairs, but I need speakers where I can actually hear up here. And, and this is perfect, especially for if you're trying to do, uh, listen to podcasts, you have to roll your windows down, you don't have AC, you know what I'm talking about? You do. Uh, this is how you do it. Just wire them into your front speakers. And if you have an aftermarket stereo, it really helps. It just makes it a lot easier. And uh, yeah, just wire it right into your front speakers. And there you go for about 25 bucks. If that, you got, you got some tweeters. And then from there, you're going to have to mess with the EQ now because it's a little too tinny for me. But to each their own, or you're probably adjusting it to just your main speakers. Why that you've added these high 
uh, frequency tweeters. You're going to have to edit that a little bit. But that's all. Uh, let me know if it works for you. Let me know if you have anything else that you think would be better. And y'all have a great rest of your day. You can do it.